Well, half the country is now requiring masks in public. Stores like Walmart, Kohl's and Kroger all issuing these mask mandates. Some people, as you know, say they shouldn't have to wear a mask. But as our Dustin Grove explains, we've been here before. To wear a mask, it's about life or not, and death. Pushes and the protests today are intense, but as it turns out, they're not new. Let's take you all the way back to 1918. Look familiar? Schools closed, businesses shuttered, Americans socially distanced to slow the spread of the flu pandemic. But it wasn't the lockdowns that caused angst. It seemed to be the mask orders that were the ones that got people upset the most. There were public service campaigns telling Americans it was their patriotic duty to wear one. The Red Cross said that the man or woman or child who will not wear a mask now is a dangerous slacker. But getting the masses to mask up wasn't easy. They complained that it was uncomfortable. Others called it an unconstitutional infringement of their civil liberties. That the government could not compel them to, to wear a mask. It was their body, it was their choice uh, to, to do what they wanted. That all sounds very familiar. It is strikingly familiar to today. There's something about uh, you know, the, the American society uh, and, and American culture where even though these historic backdrops, these contexts change, you know, human nature seems to be fairly static when it comes to this issue. Well, there was a mask mandate in place here in Indianapolis for the flu pandemic back in 1918. The same was true for some other cities like Denver and San Francisco. And there were fines back then ranging from just $5 to $200 for not wearing a mask.